Hey, what's going on YouTube? So today uh, I'm going to make a short and sweet video on how to dispatch a rabbit. Uh, if you don't know what the word dispatch means, that's essentially taking a specimen from alive to not alive. So if you don't feel like you want to watch that, you should probably turn into a different video. But that's what we're going to be doing in this video for the purposes of uh, eating, basically. Uh, I want to preface this. Um, I'm getting my toes wet in the world of rabbits. Uh, chickens are actually more of my expertise. I've been doing chickens for years. Uh, so this is something I'm teaching myself. So I'm not a professional. So if you are more seasoned in this and more professional and you see a mistake, please let me know. Uh, so without further ado. All right, so the very like bare minimum of what you need to dispatch a rabbit properly would be a, a good solid knife that's well and sharp. Uh, you're going to need uh, a tool to dispatch it with which really is just a rod you just need kind of a stick or a rod uh, you could use a broomstick literally just a broomstick without the broom attachment um, I have this right here it's an angle bar this is specifically advertised as a rabbit dispatching tool you can find these readily available on like eBay Etsy lots of private small businesses make these it's really good to have it makes the job so much easier i would mount it about waist level give or take a few inches and it just streamlines the whole thing and makes it you know less back breaking uh back breaking sorry um you'll need a hook you'll need something to hang your rabbit by now there's lots of fancy tools that you can get uh especially especially made just for hanging rabbits by their feet and stuff or you can just use a real typical hook and hang it with yarn tie around the feet uh it's it's your choice it's what you want to put into it me i just use a real simple hook and some yarn now that's like the bare minimum of what you need a tool to dispatch it with because you're basically putting the rod behind the neck and yanking uh you'll need the dispatching tool you'll need a way to hang it and then you'll need a knife really that is like the bare minimum of what you need now my recommendation would be having gloves uh if you have a rabbit that has a more uh fluffy sort of sort of coat and you suspect hair might get all over the place i would wear a mask just so you don't you know swallow hair the entire time you're doing this um a plastic bag and a bucket minimum uh because i use the bucket or i use the bowl for putting the finalized product in and then i use the, the bag for tying up the things i don't need and as i stated previously i'm pretty new to the world of rabbits um i'm still kind of teaching myself this getting my toes wet i'm not a professional at this like i am i tried tanning my first hide and i kind of messed it up so i'm not going to be going into tanning the hide or anything like that in this video this is purely just taking your rabbit dispatching it and then you know taking off and you know, taking the coat off after that that's what we're going to be doing in this video so these are some recommended essentials having a good little little uh bench or a table to work on really helps uh at some points to be able to, to you know take it off the hanger put it down work with it and hang it back up that helps me sometimes um but yeah my bear my my minimum recommendation for me gloves mask a bowl in a bag something like that a container and uh you're gonna want water like a hose or a bucket of water or something that would really help because this can get a little messy um but it's not required again so let's go ahead and get started get my gloves on i'm gonna double layer my gloves some elastic gloves these will be better for working on it once i'm done like carving carving them up and stuff getting the meat and all that good stuff wear a long sleeve too because uh when you're handling your rabbit you they might claw a little bit and if you don't want to get scratched on your arms all up in here i've had that happen to me before you know just wear a long sleeve that's that's the smarter thing to do and then over my elastic gloves Putting some uh, more durable, thicker gloves that I'll take off after I do the actual dispatching. So one is basically for not getting scratched or bit. The other underneath is uh, for just not getting a whole bunch of gunk on my hands. And I'll shed the first pair, the top layer, after the pull is done. So let's let's go get fluffy real quick. So now that we have our rabbit here, uh, we got Fluffy. Basically, all you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking him by the ears. 
them by the hind legs. When you have them by the ears, just kind of slide them through and pull up. That's basically the entirety of what is going to happen if you, if you have a dispatch bar like this. With a broomstick method, it's a little more primitive. They have to be down on the ground and you kind of use your feet to hold the broomstick down in the same position. And then you just kind of yank from there. Same concept, really. Uh, it's just having a, a pull bar like this at around waist level makes it a lot more efficient and a lot quicker. So let's go ahead and uh, get fluffy here. Let's go ahead and do what we gotta do real quick. It's all right, it's all right. Just kind of pet him, calm him down a little bit. Just kind of slide him through. Get started here. All right, got my hind legs now. Just kind of get, get the hind legs together first. And then you want to get by the ears as such and just kind of slide through. So next, now that Fluffy has been dispatched, what we're going to do, you want to take the feet. I'm going to take some yarn here. We're basically going to just tie real tight around both feet and make it such that it's easy to hang fluffy. And don't be stingy with your yarn. So now your rabbit is ready to be hung on the hook or if you have a device specially made for hanging, you don't need to mess with the yarn and then you just put it up there. Okay, so we got Fluffy hung up now. It's nice, tight, and secure. I've seen some videos where you bleed the neck. I've seen some where you don't. I do bleed the neck. And you gotta be a little careful with this because you can get some blood on the lower fur, but ultimately, ultimately we're just disposing of everything from the neck down. Include, you know, yeah. I'll cut that out. All right, so now we have Fluffy hung up. It's nice and secure, it's strong. It's not gonna fall down. Um, basically where we get started is we're gonna go for the neck, kind of get any of the remaining blood out. Um, everything neck down is gonna go basically get disposed of, uh, thrown away. Um, I wish I knew of something I could do with it, but at the current time, I do not. So let's go ahead and just kind of get the neck. Kind of open it up a little bit. You want to get as much of the remaining blood out as you can. Yeah, I got it. Let's see, get a very clean cut on that. This is why it's useful to have water and a plastic bag available at times. Okay. So we removed the head to kind of help bleed it out a little bit. Now where we want to start is up here, higher up in the legs. What you're going to do is you're going to pinch together this little piece like this. You're going to carefully go through and basically pierce through. And you want to just get an open area around the legs. Just like that, just kind of open it up. And you're gonna do that in sort of a radius around, or in a diameter around the circumference of the leg. 